Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the purchase order import using FBDI. Okay, so this is the Oracle documentation of the 21A version. And here, if you observe, like uh, if you just click on the purchase order import, it provides the detailed information about what is a UCM account and what is the XLSM file and the list of job details as well as the interface tables which are involved for this one. So here, if you observe, any FBDI, FBDI template generally have a file extension with a with the extension file extension XLSM, Excel enabled macro file, and also it'll have a set of control files. Okay, so depending upon the number of sheets, you'll have a number of control files. In this particular Excel sheet, I have four four sheets. That is why you know, like I have four control files. Okay, and similarly for each particular control file, you'll have a respective interface table. Now let us here if you observe for header in, header import control file, we'll refer to header interface table. Line import control file refer to lines interface table similarly like a schedule will refer to line location and the distribution will refer to distribution interface table and most of the interface tables also will have a error table so in this particular bdi so these are the list of tables involved these are the four interface table and this error table as well as the base tables which are used for the purpose of loading the data from your interface table to base table once everything is successful okay so now the process of import of a bdi generally involves two steps the first step is like a loading interface file for import and another one is import orders. So this is a second step. The first step will load the data from the file to the interface table. And the second step will load the data from the interface table to the base table. OK, so now what I'll do is like a, generally like if you're if you want to know what is the data to be provided in this particular sheet, right? So that's a, always uh, the bigger challenge when you are trying to work with FBDI, right? So what is the best thing what you can do is always try to create the data from the front end, OK, and fill up the Excel sheet based on the data what you provide in the in the excel sheet so here if you observe for the header inter, head the header level so when you download the xlsm file from oracle oracle generally pre populates the mandatory parameters for you to work with the basic version of upload okay so it doesn't need to worry about what fields to be provided at initial stage what you can do is just go with the basic set of fields which oracle pre-populated and enter the fields according to your particular system i mean to say like according to your system configuration so in my case here if here if i observe like uh, i mentioned the header interface key so this is a unique key for each record level and this go with the default this is a batch id which for which you need to validate like a, when you load the set of data right you always generally mention the batch id so that like you can validate in a given batch how many records were successful or a failure and then you can modify them accordingly and the document style so you can mention the re relevant document style so as of now it shows only one and the relevant data like uh, the bu details as well as legal entity details the buyer currency and some other information okay and similarly line level mention the item detail pricing detail quantity uom okay and if at all, if you have any of the flexi field also you can mention and the note details and coming to the line location. So here, if you observe, there is a correlation between each and every sheet. So here, this is the first record of header and header can have a number of lines, right? So here, I, header interface key is H1. And what I've done here, here, if you observe, this header is having two lines. Let us say if you're having another header, let us say purchase order header two, then you have to mention header two and mention the line numbers of that particular header. And similarly, this line location depending upon the lines right so this l1 l2 so this line location one refers to line one line location two refers to line two if at all if a given line if a if a, in a given line if you have multiple location then mention the interface line key l1 for those set of line locations okay and similarly distribution so these distributions are based on the line locations okay so the best way to understand all this thing is like uh, create the sample data from the ui okay and observe the data how it is available okay now once you fill up the data the next task is you have to generate the zip file so when you click on generate csv file it will generate a zip file inside the zip file you'll have these particular four sheets which are generated as a csv file nothing but a zip file will contain four csv files okay once you generate this generate the zip file the next step is you have to load the data into the ucm right so the first task is you have to click on you have to invoke the job load interface file role load interface file for import okay now in my case what i'll do is it this step will take a little bit time based on the data based on your uh, system load interface file for import will read the zip file and load the data into the interface table okay and this required two input parameter one is your import process name so these details will be available in the oracle documentation the document link which i provided 
import orders so this will take some time okay select the import process now here click on the drop down you have an option to upload a new file okay upload a new file if at all if you have already uploaded your particular file in the ucm you can select the file or else simply click on upload a new file and just select the file okay and okay click on submit okay so now just observe your particular request id process id okay make sure it is successful here if you observe this is my request id which is ending with 663 refresh this will call the transfer file and after that you will have four loader files will loader request will be generated load file to interface can you see the first one this was our parent request load interface file file for import is a parent request after that it will call the transfer file and after transfer file you'll have four in four load file to interface programs the reason is very simple we have four excel sheets to be loaded into four interface table that is why this particular four programs will get called and also these four should be successful if any of the program fails simple your particular interface is not successful right so wait wait until your parent is successful this particular load interface file for import once it is completed successfully nothing but succeeded then run the next one what is the next job import orders so this particular step will load the data from the interface table to the base table import orders okay select this one and this also have set of parameters it will have a bu information and it will have the appropriate information now i don't want to approve by default and source i'm leaving it batch you better to mention it i'll select the batch id too because i already mentioned the batch id as two in my uh, this header sheet okay so now i'll go with this one submit okay so this will take some time again it depends upon your data load okay so let us if you're having thousand records obviously it will take at least 10 minutes if you're having only sing a single record generally it finishes within one minute okay so refresh so full it should get yeah it succeeded but doesn't mean it is really successful of loading the data so we always need to open the text sheet of this one okay now here if you observe it clearly mentioned this is a batch id this is input parameter and the p09 it simply mentioned the purchase order number which it imported okay so what you do is go to the system here and go to your particular ui and search with the purchase order number nine okay just enter now we should be able to see the two lines which were created from this particular fbdi okay so this is all about the fbdi process of purchase order and also one more important thing is in the purchase order we have three types of purchase orders like uh, one is blanket purchase agreement contract purchase agreement as well as purchase order import okay so the process is same for all of them but the list of data files the sheets which are in, which are involved as well as the interface tables which are involved a little bit different okay thank you